This movie is for users of our legacy applications, StarDraw Audio 2007 and StarDraw AV 2007, and it shows how you can utilize custom symbols generated in those older applications in StarDraw Design 7. So we'll begin by starting up StarDraw AV 2007, and we will open up an existing drawing which is called custom symbols. And in this drawing you can see that there are a collection of symbols, both library symbols like Shaw, Tascam, but also here we have the Acme receiver. This is in fact a custom symbol that I have generated that's stored in my libraries and as you can see there is the Acme receiver symbol on which this product is based. In this drawing we have a number of custom symbols, so we have the Acme speaker over here as well, but you'll also see in this drawing that we have other library products, for example QSC amplifiers, some BSS products, more BSS products, we have some Tascam products, we have some Denon products. So let's save this drawing onto my desktop and then go straight over ah, first of all I have to close the drawing um, and then we'll go straight over to Star Draw Design 7. We're currently in a drawing view and this is so that we can see which manufacturer libraries have been installed and the fact we have no user-defined product currently. So looking at the library products that are installed Notice that uh, we have Crown, we have Denon, uh, we have QSC. We do not have BSS, we do not have Barco, we do not have Tascam. And remember, there are no user-defined products in the library at the moment. So let's go and open a project, and this is an important step. You don't import the SO1 file, you open it as a project. And when opening an SO1 file, you need to select the file type from this drop down. So there we have star.so1 and now we can see that the custom symbols file is shown on my desktop. If we open this we can now see that there is a drawing tab called custom symbols. This is the file name of the symbol, uh, sorry, the drawing that we just opened. Now if we look at that drawing you can see that the drawing looks absolutely identical. If we zoom in we can see uh, the product information and notice that we now have, magically, some user-defined products. So Stardraw Design 7 is intelligent enough to open up a legacy file, recognize any symbols that are unknown, and it will then generate a new user-defined product record based on those symbols. So now, if I expand the Acme Electronics, you can see that we have the RX1 receiver and the SPK1 speaker. We also have the Barco, BSS, Extron and Tascam products that are in this drawing but were not previously installed in the general products libraries. And the nice thing about this is that the custom symbols that have been imported and turned into product records can be used in future drawings in exactly the same way. So it really is as simple as that. By opening up a legacy SO1 file, Stardraw Design 7 will interpret any unrecognized symbols and generate new user-defined products based on that symbol information. Thank you very much.